Monday everyone, I wanted to talk about the adrenals. What a beautiful subject and one that I think we really need to talk about. So if you don't know what the adrenals are, the adrenals are two glands that are found on top of your kidneys and they are responsible for basically giving you that connection to the nervous system to tell your body when it's time to fly if you need to go and run from a tiger by releasing cortisol and adrenaline. If you have an accident, your adrenals would actually pour out adrenaline to your body so that for a moment, your body will want to be alive without feeling the pain, right? I don't know if you ever had an accident where you're just shocked and you are taken by surprise. Your, your nervous system is completely activated. Well, you don't feel anything. You don't feel pain. You don't feel nothing. You're very numb. That's adrenaline rushing through your body. A lot of people actually go and look for adrenaline hits, right? Because it's like such an uplifting it gives you strength you really know, even though you had it's just really a survival hormone and um, and cortisol is likewise very important if you're, there is danger you feel it you're gonna start running and cortisol will increase the sugar level into our body telling the liver to break down glycogen it will tell the bodies to stop digesting stop doing anything just freaking run and so it's, it will increase your heart rate. So these hormones are super important. They speak to the organs in our body so that we can save our lives. Our body is designed to keep us alive, okay? Now that's perfectly fine when we need it, when we are in a state of emergency, when it's to keep us alive. But our lifestyle now are complete stress all the time. So we are always on the go, always feeling overwhelmed, always 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 running and the truth is we just don't have the the grit anymore to manage the output of cortisol into our body our adrenals are always working and just like a battery if you don't charge the battery and you use it all the time that battery is going to go flat so when we get then into our perimenopausal and menopausal stages our adrenals who are meant to be ready to then produce hormones such as estrogen and progesterone when we get into menopause are just gonna be like sorry buddy I can't do this I'm exhausted so women we make obviously our progesterone and estrogen mostly into our reproductive system into our cycling years as we get into menopause we stop that and it moves into the adrenals but if things are not working properly then well, here we go, we have a lot of deficiency, especially in things like progesterone. And that's why it's really important to understand that our nervous system and our endocrine system work hand in hand, and we have to really understand the body holistically, which is why it's frustrating when we have doctors for every inch of our body. We have an endocrinologist, we have a gynecologist, we have a neurologist, we have these doctors that specialize, but they don't talk the same language as each other. They don't actually think about the other organs and they miss the big picture because they dissect the body in different organs and parts and, and roles and responsibility. But actually the body, although there are organs that of course have roles and responsibility that are different from each other, they work together. If you don't understand the body holistically as a whole um, system, then you are not going to be healthy. And this is why nutritionists and dietitians and Every practitioner that wants to be in wellness really needs to be curious about understanding the body that way. Like this is why I got into naturopathy because ultimately for me it truly is a language that we have to speak, our body language that we have to speak is understanding where things are going on into our body, what our body is saying, what our body is doing and how things work together. So when I have been speaking to my women this weekend, postmenopausal women especially, and they are sharing how they just don't feel the same. They just feel really low. Their progesterone is very low. I'm like, yeah. And the doctors always say to them, either you take HRT, if that's an option, or tell them, don't worry. And by the way, there are still doctors they don't even know about HRT properly because of a study that was done years ago where they were basically looking at, you know, horse urine, basically, made a, that, it does have very old drugs, they're not even in use anymore, but there were drugs that were basically, if 
from hormones of pregnant horses and they were showing incorrectly though uh, an, an increase of um, breast cancer in women and so everybody freaked out about HRT that was actually a very poorly led study but unfortunately a lot of doctors especially if they had not been educating themselves since then they will be they won't even talk about HRT with their clients now as a naturopathic doctor my views have changed actually throughout the, the time and actually it's in training I'm still training but um, one of the things that has come to the surface is that um, although our body should be able to make its own hormones in an ideal scenario the reality of our life is that we don't live an ideal life and we don't live ideal health life uh, lifestyle and and so it can be very frustrating when our body is just not giving us what we need right so one of the things that we need to pay attention to is that at some point if our body is really struggling there is two things that are very important our lifestyle needs to pick, be picked up so that we can support the organs that are supposed to do their job equally we have to also think maybe for the time being taking some hormone replacement therapy could be a good thing and now they have a lot of them that are actually bioidentical so they're not they're, they're from nature from plants and they can support the body to to thrive and I'm, I'm particularly concerned of course progesterone very low and People are not calm anymore, they're stressed, the women feel overwhelmed. And honestly, as you get into your 50s and you don't have to think about, late 50s even, when you don't have to think about your period anymore, you don't have to think about getting pregnant, you don't have to think about a billion things. Maybe you had a family, you don't have to think about your kids, they're off to university. That's the prime of your life. It's when you just can focus on you. So not having the hormones to give you that prime of your life where you want to be you have even the time to enjoy a sexual relationship in a better way with your partner, then it's really frustrating. Like for a woman, we are almost told that we are useless at that time, but like that's the time where we can thrive the most. If we are healthy, we can be creative, we can create amazing things. Like those are the women that can look after themselves and be connected and be creative and be productive and have hormones in as much balance as possible, those are the CEO of the, of the future, right? Those are the women that can change the world. Those are the, the women that will create companies that are made for the betterment of our planet. Those are the, the females and the women that will balance out a very patriarchal society that is just stuck in, is still stuck in the Middle Ages in many ways. So those things are so important. But you have to understand your body, you have to understand your hormones, and you have to understand your adrenals. If your adrenals are not performing, if you're exhausted, you're not going to be able to do anything. That's going to affect your memory, it's going to affect your digestive system, it's going to affect your circulation, it's going to affect your heart, everything, okay? So in your brain, I mean, we talk about women actually are more susceptible to Alzheimer's than men. Now, this has got to do with estrogen, actually, so we want to make sure that estradiol is up as we get older even then there are ways to do this again lifestyle diet um, mindfulness and in some cases when needed HRT so how do you do this how do you make sure that your adrenals are looked after well you have to adapt a lifestyle that is conducive to you taking time off relaxing and connecting to yourself that means don't rush in the morning, don't jump out of bed, go on your phone and get stressed because you, you have emails that unfortunately are uncomfortable. Meditate when you get up, breathe deeply when you get up. Then, take care of yourself, a little bit of time. If you take an hour to do 15 minutes yoga, breath work, meditation, half an hour to get ready, honestly, that one hour will be your most precious gift. Then. You want to have your list of things to do set up the day before, so the night before, so you know exactly what you have to do, you have your schedule, and you can go for it. And you want to really and truly connect to that. Now I know there are many things in life that are not in control, that are out of our control, 
and sometimes you just have to learn how to navigate those things and let go of certain things okay that's very personal to each of each of you so uh, I can't give you I don't want to give you specific examples because everybody has different circumstances but this is a very important key to tune to basically um, aside from that we want to make sure that we um, we eat properly so you want to make sure your kidneys are healthy your nervous system is calm and there are certain food that really helps that plants are amazing for that the micronutrients and antioxidants the anti-inflammatory compounds into your body into the food they are key to keeping us healthy and they are key to allowing us to truly thrive so don't discount what they are and don't discount what they can give so a plant-based diet is very very important even if you choose to add some animal products the majority of your diet should be plants because you want to have them working properly you want to make sure that your your um, your nutritional profile is well designed so you have enough protein and yes you don't need to have animal protein to have enough protein you can have plants but again this is why you have to have a mindful well-designed program and then you can also make sure that you hydrate your body that you work out very good for the nervous system but even working out please don't go and go crazy with hit classes and crazy amounts of weights don't stress your adrenals don't run marathons don't run on the treadmill for an hour those things will cause your adrenal to be exhausted too so you want to balance out some beautiful weights that are in a power with what your body can tolerate so you still want to challenge your body but you want to go crazy with the weights and the hits and the stuff you want to also do yoga classes pilates classes breath work while you do yoga and, and pilates and any exercise always the breathing is the key and really find a rhythm that works for you if you are in your cycle if you're a cycling woman then understand your hormone cycle and work out eat for the hormones in that cycle if you are already menopause then think about how to actually support your body two days a week give your body that extra uh, starches to support progesterone production do yoga do some pilates stretch and breathe and allow your body to be calm then the rest of the time work with estrogen try to bring up a little bit more activity strengthening your body and it depends again if there are people here that are absolutely adrenal exhausted then we have to take the time to support the adrenals even more so you have to understand where you're at so it's a very personal journey which is why it's not a cookie cutter um, solution for everyone and although there are basics that are applicable to every woman there are also very very important um, things that you can do personally according to your situation that's something that really goes without it, it goes under the radar I don't know why we don't talk about this but this is like the beauty of having you know a coach for example now in Liblin one of the things that I'm really trying to do is that the project that I have is to actually train health coaches and nutritionists in my methods so that they can assist clients on a one-to-one -one journey and also we are launching retreats that are focused on women only for women and we will then follow up with them through an online platform so there's a lot going on that has to be implemented but I feel that that's the future for women because again we are not smaller men support your adrenals understand what they do for you and try to really adopt a lifestyle that is conducive to the adrenals performing the best that they can versus exhausting them just because of the pressure of society of our family of our relationships one thing I learned from my experience going through adrenal exhaustion is that once you hit rock bottom you only have two choices you stay there and you feel crap about your life for the rest of your life or you pick up your, yourself up and you make decisions and those decisions will come with some collaterals and most of those collaterals are relationships but I can never say it enough how worth it it was because ultimately putting yourself first allows you to be healthy and happy happier so I really value that I feel like it was something that I never I never put at the forefront of my life and I grew
grew up as a very stressed child, in a stressful environment, as a stressful teenager, as a stressful young adult. And now I'm finally, I'm finally actually managing to put myself first. And although life is not perfect, it's much better because my adrenals are happier. And I wish and I hope that by the time I get to my, six, my 50s, well, actually, I, I would love to go into menopause later in my 50s, as late as I can push it. So I'm really taking care of my hormones now. Um, but if I can do that, if I can push myself to go, if I can push my body and support my body to go that far, which is actually our natural being, state of being, we shouldn't go into menopause early, um, then I will truly, you know, I will, I, I, I'm hoping that my adrenals will be ready by that time to take up the job of my reproductive system and make the hormones I need to stay healthy and young and sharp. And we will see how we go there. I cannot predict the future, so I will navigate as I go. But one thing I noticed is that just making these baby steps now have taken a massive um, turn for the better in my life. So I urge you to look at the same. And if you want to speak, please do get in touch. But also, most importantly, on my website, sign up for my newsletter, please, so that I can keep you posted with everything that we're doing.